Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for MMA fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and I'm here to get you ready for the upcoming UFC fights. In this series, I'll be watching tape and providing my real-time analysis on how I think the fights are going to go. I'll be watching for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies, pairing that with Fighting Stats' exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else to give you a prediction on how I think the fights are going to go and, ultimately, who's going to win. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Welcome back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Art C, and today we are taping the Roman Delize side. He fights Nasruddin Imavov at UFC Vegas coming up. So we're going to get this fight tape started here. Uh, he fights Trevin Giles. Uh, he's going to have a 2-inch height advantage and a 2-inch reach advantage uh, for Roman the Caucasian Delize. And yes, that is his real nickname uh, fighting out of Georgia here. So uh, let's see here. Uh, Trevin Giles is the plus 105 underdog for this fight. So, uh, pretty even matchup uh, on paper, I guess. Uh, let's see how this fight played out. So, this is in the UFC Apex. Dolidze opens up in Southpaw. Giles opens up in uh, Orthodox here. So, Dolidze takes the center of the cage. Looks for a high kick, misses. Switches to Orthodox, back to Southpaw, back to Orthodox. Okay. Nice outside low kick. Telegraphed it a little bit, but uh, nonetheless, that was nice. Nice outside low kick again. So he opened up southbound, now he's in orthodox, throwing both low kicks. Another third outside low kick from Delize. Delize say, come on, bring it on to Trevin Giles. Trevin Giles moving back, back to southpaw for Delize. So he goes inside low kick from southpaw. Oh, Trevin Giles goes high. Delize looks a lot bigger too. Back to Orthodox. Looks like for the, going for the outside uh, low kick again. <coughs> Another outside low kick for Delize. So have not seen any hands. A minute and ten seconds into the fight. Uh, all uh, low kicks so far. Back to Southpaw. What happened? Hands up. Herb Dean saying hands up. <coughs> All right, Delize back to Orthodox. Outside low kick from Orthodox. Oh, he goes high with the high inside kick, okay. Steps back to Southpaw, back to Orthodox. A lot of switches here for Delize early. Jaws, uh, outside kick again. So it's now Giles taking the center of the cage. Giles goes the high kick blocked. Look for uh, a jab there from Delize. <coughs> Trying to s duck under and throw a high kick is Delize, but uh, looks like Giles is out of range, so he's pulling it back a little bit. Nice jab there from uh, Giles. Now they're outside low kick from Delize. Switches back to Southpaw. Now they're, ooh, outside low kick. Lead outside low kick from uh, Delize. So, um, I would say, well, yeah, 100% a kick so far from Delize. Eats a right hand there from Giles. <clears throat> Halfway through round number one. Not a crazy high pace right now, but, uh, ooh, an axe kick from Delize and a spinning back elbow. Nice left hook there lands for Giles. Another outside low kick from Delize. Really working that outside low kick there. Little jab there, a little bit lazy. Switches to southpaw again. <coughs> Smiling in there. Giles stepping forward, just looking at what the Delize reacts. Another outside low kick for Delize lands. He's uh, Delize flinching a little bit on the feints from Giles. Ducking under with the left hook, goes high with the lead high kick. Back to southpaw. 
Now he ducks under for a takedown. Easily gets that. What, what was that about? Grabs a single leg, turns the corner, tried for that trip there, got uh, Jaws down. Now he's down in uh, full guard. Right away steps over into half guard. Jaws butt scooting up his way, back up to the fence. The leads it gets the back. Some knees uh, in the in the uh, on the back of the thigh there. <clears throat> Some more knees. Should be able to drag uh, Giles down with a body lock on his back, but uh, he is working here. Let's see. Giles is gonna have to work on that uh, that grip or turn into him. It looked like he almost had it there. There he gets the arm over. Now he's back. He's okay here. So. Delize still has double unders up against the fence there. Giles pummels for that left one, gets 50-50. Nice knee in the clinch there from Delize. Another one there. Giles with the oil check there. <laughs> Looking at the clock here, 42 seconds left in round number one. Another nice knees there from Delize in the clinch. Now I'm keeping a mental note, he is fighting Nasserdin Imavov. I do know that Nasserdin Imavov does get into these clinch scenarios a lot as well. So uh, it looked like there was a low blow there. Giles trying to catch a knee when he comes up, trying to get the takedown, but the leads are pretty strong so far uh, in the clinch. It is a 50-50 position, so Giles could circle off, uh, but he's not able to hear the leads are controlling the, uh, the clinch so far. Looks like again, Jaws trying to circle off. J uh, Delize is just stronger in the clinch, able to pin him uh, back up against the fence. So, round number one's done. Um, you sort of give that to Delize just by sheer volume, uh, sheer strikes. I know Chavin Giles is sort of out on the outside. He, I ate a couple of low kicks there. Nothing much really happened, but Delize is just a little bit busier uh, with the volume in that round. <clears throat> All right, let's get this started. Round number two. The lead is still in southpaw. Giles still showing orthodox. Ooh, the lead. Oh, Giles lands a nice left hand there. Right straight, left two. Yeah, a two, three. Uh, lands the lead smiles. The lead chin on display so far. Nice outside low kick from the lead. <coughs> Another two lands for uh, Giles there. So Giles is starting to find the range, landing that, uh, that right hand. Steps forward back into uh, orthodox is Delize. Sort of a puzzle here. Uh, Delize just content with standing and kicking range, working these kicks outside low kicks, inside low kicks, southpaw orthodox. Not really looking to engage with the punches, uh, just single kicks so far. Even showing with the uh, the higher uh, pant leg on that side. Ooh, oh! Okay, so Chavin Giles lines a nice jab and an overhand right. Nice clean jab there counters the kick and then hits him back with an overhand right another one another jab lands the leads his chins on display uh, early Dustin Poirier-esque in the uh, shorts grab for the leads every time he resets he pulls up his shorts nice high kick from the leads again here's some double jabs coming forward Goes inside low kick there from Southpaw. Giles trying to figure out his way inside. He is looking like he's trying to he's trying to counter the kick. Deletes the inside kick again. Surprised Giles not more in the pocket here, but he does like to stand on the outside as well. Another kick from Deletes. Looks like if you don't bring the fight to him, he's okay with standing here in the center of the cage, uh, standing in kicking range, throwing kicks. So uh, let's keep that in mind. Right hand, uh, there's that 3-2 again, Drevin tries to throw. Looks like he got caught in that exchange. Looked like he got caught there. Right hand, left hand, partially landed. Not, not a ton of it. Ooh, what was that? Okay, so... Driving Giles ducks under, almost gets to the back here. The leads it right around, right away rolls, and almost trying to get uh, like a a reversal here. Now he's on the leg. Giles recognizes the heel hook. 
land some nice punches there from the top the problem is when you're working a heel hook you have two hands on each leg nothing really to defend the punches here so still working on the heel Trevin Giles gonna stack him uh, trying to get that leg or his weight above his leg still continues to roll can be dangerous at times you're, you're okay until you're not basically but uh, now Trevin Giles is okay he has his knees with under him Looked like he was going to go for a Dars or something there. Again with this roll that uh, Delize is in on another leg. Looks like Child Giles is going to get out. That knee needs to get past the crotch. Uh, yeah, he's fine here. Trying to move it to the side. Giles is out. Delize breathing a little bit heavier here. 145 left in the second. So still working on a leg here. Trevin Josh just needs to pull himself out. Obviously easier said than done. Throwing some punches here. Ooh, a nice jab from the bottom. Ooh, spinning back fist. Nice ack elbows there from Giles. 122 left. Delizia needs to give up on this leg, I think, and just stand back up. But uh, Such a weird position here. So... Uh, Giles has his right leg trapped there uh, along the body and the leg. Uh, Delizia is sort of content, loses the leg there. Now Giles gets up first. Going to get this position, but Delizia gets the back uh, on the scramble up. Now it's Delizia on the back, 55 seconds left in round number two. Some nice knees. Haven't really seen Delizia from this position try to get the fight down to the ground. He's, he's content with just throwing some legs. Oh. Jaws looking for a switch, doesn't get there. Now they're back to the thing. So yeah, the Lidze, when they clinch up, he gets the back here to this position. I can see this working on Imavov, honestly. Hands inside the cage. The Lidze with some nice knees to the back of the thighs. You gotta work, 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 work. The leads are still outside low uh, knees to the back of the thighs, and then that's it. Okay. So that looked like a uh, Trevin Giles round. Uh, more ground and pound from the top. Had some top position there. Uh, the leads was working on the submission, but not really close to it. Uh, looks like to be 1 1 in my opinion. All right, round number three. So close fight so far. Going to come down to this round in my opinion. Uh, Delizze is slowing down a little bit, but so is uh, Giles here. Right away goes back to the kicks for Delizze. Roman Delizze, minus 170 on the live line. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Giles plus 130. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I would tend to take Giles there going into the third at plus 130. It looks like he's uh, like, oh, high kick, partially blocked. Sort of 50-50 here. Anybody's round, uh, you know, a little bit slower pace as much as the the first one. Lunges forward with the right hand, lands the left hand there. Jab misses from Giles. Yeah, this this significant strike discrepancy is pretty clear. So pretty. Oh, nice right hand from Giles. Is that clean? Loads up, throws the right hand. Oh, it looked like it. Yeah, looks like a little bit short on it. Nice uh, sprawl there from Giles. Back to the center of the cage. Four minutes left. Oh, nice right hand from Giles. So again, Imava is coming up with a five-round fight. So we're going to keep an eye on this cardio from uh, Delize. This is only about uh, halfway through a five-round fight so far. So um, I don't, not a huge fan of the lower volume that I'm seeing, but uh, we will see. Throw the left hand there. Whoa! Big right hand from Giles. Likes that straight right. Lands clean. Wobbles. Wobbles. I don't know if that was counted as a knockdown, but definitely wobbled him. Now he's shooting. Okay, so worth noting, as soon as Delize got rocked, he dropped down for a, a single leg takedown. Giles in on a the neck there. Looks to crank it. Look, look, it's pretty close, man. So... 
the reason I bring it up is that I, I need to make a mental note to look at uh, club and sub. Uh, this is where a club and sub would happen there. Um, oh, it looks like his nose bleeding as well. So Jaws is on the neck there. We're going to try to get up. Nice uppercut in the break. The leads are trying to push him up against the fence there. It doesn't get it. Now his mouth is wide open. Two minutes, uh, 50 seconds left in round number three. Nice knee in the clinch. Grabs the back. Nice takedown from Giles. The leads are pretty busy on the ground. Always rolling. Always looking for a leg. Doing something. He has like these nice rolls into leg locks. Now he's in on the knee bar. Yeah, it looks like he's past the knee, doesn't get it, but uh, he still gets top position. So even these rolls, even if he doesn't get it, you can see the Lidze here ending up on top in side control with 220 two left. What is Giles doing? So get some, uh, get to see some the Lidze on top here. Uh, what's he doing with the legs? He's trying to get him back onto the ground with his back. He's trying to roll him over. Leads a lot of strength to get him over from that position there. Working on a neck. Sees the neck. Giles decides to stand up. Giles goes back down. Puts the knee down so he cannot get kneed. So knees to the leg here. So let's fast forward some of this. Roll, roll, roll. Now it's Giles on the back. How did that happen? Giles came out the back door, popped out. Now it's Giles on the back. Nice, bra uh, nice break there. So now it's the lead. They see how he's one minute left in round three. Giles slowing down too. You can see a minute left. Okay, we're just standing here. Thinks he might have done enough. Nice long jab there from Giles. The leads they switch it back to south southpaw. Yeah, I mean, oh, nice right hand again from Giles. So, so far within the hands, I haven't seen a lot of punches from the leads. It tells me that like, oh my goodness, so bad from Giles. Drags him down, tries to get him there, but he just falls right into mount. Giles able to get, uh, no, still a mount. Literally pulls him onto mount. Could could have lost the fight here. Giles able to scramble up to his feet. Some nice oh, uh, knees to the back. Knees, knees, knees. Oh, a nice triangle. No, it doesn't get it. Scramble there. So that round three was very close. Uh, again, 1-1 one, one going into the third. A little bit back and forth. He had the lead Zay. Uh, sorry, got rocked pretty bad there and then get some uh, top time as well. Uh, I could see the Giles uh, side. Let me see what they have. For. All three, 29-28. Trevin Giles. All right. What do we learn so far from uh, Delizze? So very kick heavy, very kick centric. When he was standing, he likes to stand on the outside, standing kicking range, pop a lot of those outside low kicks, uh, either from out, uh, orthodox or southpaw. Didn't look like he had a lot of hands, was hittable. Trevin Giles landed a couple of right hands there, uh, three, two combos a couple of times. Uh, I would say Delizze's chin is better than it is worse. Uh, able to take some big shots. I don't think that was counted as a knockdown for Giles, just wobbled him. Um, on the ground, uh, or sorry, in the clinch, let's start with the clinch. Uh, looks to be pretty strong against the clinch. Able to hold Jaws up against the fence there. Uh, go through, throw some knees. Likes to drop under, take the back uh, from the clinch, uh, and then uh, try to get him down to the ground. But he did not really attempt the takedown once he got to the back. When, it, when he's on the ground, on top, he looks to be okay. Uh, looking at position rather than uh, submission or real ground and pound. When he's on the bottom, he's always rolling for something. He's rolling at the knees, rolling at the legs. So uh, you do have to have some uh, leg lock defense so far so from what we've seen from Delize. And then lastly, uh, the cardio cardio concerns. Looks like he slowed down a little bit there in round two. Um, not really a high pace either. So I'd like to see a higher pace fight and seeing what, how that cardio looks. So it's just things on the back burner that we have to take a look at. Uh, and then uh, we'll get more of the picture. So we're going to continue taping the Roman Delize site, see if we can get more pieces to the puzzle, and then at the end of this, get your best bet. Uh, my name is Artsy. This is Fighting Sats. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching.
All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure you smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Uh, you'll get notified anytime we put out new content. Listen to this. We just hit a massive parlay for $29,000 at UFC 297. That is one UFC after 296 where we hit a parlay for $82,000. That's back-to-back -back parlays. We've made $110,000. And how do we do it? We use our exclusive fighting stats, not available anywhere else. Our exclusive fighting stats gives us information, gives us a big edge over the sports books and tell us what's gonna happen within the fights. We post all that information, our breakdowns, our best bets over at patreon.com slash fighting stats. Don't miss out, make sure you subscribe today. Again, my name is Art C, this is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching.